What's crack a lacking peoples? Just driving along, heading to Ormoak. Um, yeah, it's Krista and Vinzoy. Say hi, Vinzoy. No, say hey, blog. <laughs> say it. Say it. Hey, blog. <laughs> <laughs> he's shy when the camera comes on. When the camera's not on, he's not shy. But anyways, <clears throat> so we're heading to Ormoak. Our uh, plates finally came in. It's only been like three months. I guess the license plates, uh, they usually take a month, but they are backlogged in Manila or Cebu or Tucloban or wherever they're getting the plates from, I guess. So we had to wait and they finally came in today. He called us up about an hour ago and said, hey, your plates are in. We said, all right, we'll come and get them. Tags are coming in and they're control numbered on the yeah. temporary tags to a real tag. Yeah, because so, they said yeah. that um, last time that they don't have the plate, the police thing. Yeah, yeah. They know that there's a back order of uh, plates coming in. So, <clears throat> yeah. And I'm rocking my, um, my bandana. I constantly, even under my hat, I have a bandana on because, man, I don't think I'll ever acclimatize to the Philippines correctly. I can last where I'm out and I stop sweating after a while, but in the sun like it is now, it is, I mean, well, you can't see it very well because of the, the tent in our car. Here, hold on, let me do this. Woo -hoo -hoo. It is a bright sunny day. Oh yeah. It is very bright out. And yeah. So that sun beating down on my fat ass. I think I cook myself like lechon. I lose 10 pounds and sweat. So I constantly keep a bandana on. The car I could take it off, I guess. I mean, ain't no big deal in here. Cause it's, we got the air con going and stuff and all that. So I don't need it. But when we step outside, whew, yeah. If you're uh, coming here on vacation or you've never been to the Philippines, Bring a bandanas. I got like 300 bandanas and I just uh, wear one. I fold it up, wear it. Then when I'm done, I uh, throw it in the wash and I can wear another one. Because yeah, it's sweat, sweat, sweat. You got 300? How many do I have up in that thing? Okay, I'm exaggerating with 300. I forgot, with a Filipina, you have to be exactly on the number. Are you in trouble? <laughs> My Trump impression. Yeah. I got more like 29.1. No, I got like 30, including her bandanas, which I brought for her, which she never wears. She wears a hair scrunchy bandana looking thing that every once in a while, but barely. I think she's got a sweatband in the, the thing where, you know, you're old school squat to the oldies. You remember that? Uh -huh, yeah. She don't know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. but you all know what I'm talking about. Some Richard Simmons bandana shit going on. She's got, <laughs> I think it's in the glove box. This ninja, this ninja. Hello? Hello? Ninja Hello? 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 Oh, so we love your brothers there. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I did. I said that my brother's there. Ah, you got to hear a ninja call. That's our Lazada. Ninja delivered. <laughs> or he's delivering. He's asking if he should go to our house or the neighbors or the grandma's. Because those are the three places they go. If they don't see our truck, they, uh, Either deliver their grandma's or uh, the across the street neighbor the sorry sorry store which we don't like to bug her too much with the delivering our packages there because then we feel like we're overstepping because they just delivered to her and they were doing it every day for like two months we had tons of packages coming in and stuff and she's like looking at us like you buy a freaking tea from me for like 32 pesos but you have all your packages delivered? What the fuck? No, I'm just fine. She probably didn't care. Oh, now they text say it's delivered. 
it's a bunk generic robo call number saying package delivered because uh, trust me i tried to call to complain one time and it didn't didn't do nothing doesn't do nothing but anyways so we are there we go now the camera's on my bad um where are we going through right now this is almost to my yeah still like three hours yeah three hours from ormok ford ormok that's where we're going so we got our snacks our drinks we got the vinzoi we kidnapped vinzoi <laughs> yeah, we kidnap him tito matika vinzoi tita amigo tita amigo vinzoi tita amigo <laughs> that means we are not friends he says it all the time he sings it sometimes. Sing it, Vinzoi, sing it. Dita amigo, dita amigo, dita amigo. Johnny, Johnny. It's, he's getting a drink. But. He's parched. Huh. Anyways. So, we'll have fun. Do this little road trip. Stop behind traffic. Oh my gosh. I follow the green line. <coughs> Green for highway. Road trip. We're uh, listening to Christmas music. We've been listening to Christmas music since last month. Because here in the Philippines, it's the burr months me Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. They don't have Thanksgiving, so they don't celebrate it. So they go straight for Christmas. And yeah. It's fun stuff. Oh, there's the ocean. See, this road is freaking amazing. It's right along the ocean. Now I know why everybody likes these little bikes because, well, we call them scooters, but they call them motorcycles. Because you're running right along the ocean and everything. And the ocean's right over here, so you can smell it. You get the breeze from it. And you can see it through the houses and the fences. <laughs> Avoiding people. But yeah gas stations and pepsi delivery that's not oh it is pepsi oh, okay <laughs> whatever you don't need on you <laughs> hey sometimes it says pepsi on the side and it's delivering coke or it's delivering lechon or chicken they just stick a sticker on the side of the truck doesn't necessarily mean it's a real pepsi delivery that's why i was like oh it's got real pepsi in it <laughs> she thinks it's funny <laughs> oh, I'm haggard. I'm haggard. That means she thinks she looks ugly. We were messing with the dishes earlier, and I stuck a, a glass down behind a pitcher, and she grabbed the pitcher and knocked the glass over, and it uh, ended up slitting her finger open. Here, show me your finger. So she's got a boo boo. Yeah, it's still bleeding. And it's bleeding still. It hurts her. She might be anemic. I hope there's no like glass. Just fine. Yeah. Does it feel like there's something in there? I don't know. What's that it fell in there? <laughs> <laughs> Did she seriously just ask me, what does it feel like when there's something stuck in your finger? I don't know. You're the one cut saying there might be glass in it. Here's the construction been going on with this bridge for uh, four or five months. My brother also <laughs> said that it's a high tide. High tide? Ocean. Yeah. Ocean, it's a high tide and that's why I'm bleeding. There's uh, lots of bleeding. All right, folks out there, you watch out. It's a high tide. Don't cut yourself. You'll bleed to death. Because that has to do with the tide. <laughs> she's laughing. And I put the camera on her. She's like. <laughs> See? <laughs> Uh, all right, now we're in Mason. Because now it's a uh, traffic, 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 traffic. Usually, traffic here is like five or six. But what's crazy is, see how it looks right here during the day? I'll try to take a picture as we come back through at night on the way back home from getting the plates. And it looks totally different. Because all these little shots. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> they carry the box over the sun. Because uh, here with the stuff, it looks kind of like, like, see here, it kind of looks, eh, it's beyond your construction, so it looks bad, and it looks gross. Da -da -da. 
all these little inlets have lights all over them and they're lit up and they look really cool and they're little eateries and stuff like that like back in here would be an eatery or something but not really i'll show you another one it's up here somewhere but um yeah it's all lit up and stuff and stuff's all open and all that and you can go in there and get a bite to eat or get a snack or get some red horse if you want that if that's your thing here's where we always get work done on our vehicle uh, we get our lights installed and stuff like that there Chris speaking one of the main chains you see everywhere in the Philippines now see back at that gas station I just showed you on the road that I went like this after that it's a two-lane highway now well two-lane road and yeah I mean, people tend to drive it like a three lane because you know what the middle doesn't matter so we'll just drive down the middle so you get in trouble like this i'm driving right down the middle and it's normal here this the road has no lines anywhere you just don't hit anybody and you pass and it's all good freaking weird but it is what it is it's the philippines driving in this province area and see this car is gonna fucking cut me off and he's gonna cut me off. I developed what us Westerners like to call bad fucking road rage over that. Oh, I'm just playing. But no, not really. I'm serious. <laughs> you, you're a calm driver. Once you drive here, you're not very freaking calm anymore. You don't want to rip somebody's head off. Filipinos are the nicest people in the world until they get behind a wheel. And holy. Freaking, 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 freaking. Means it was looking at they you become like, crazy. What happened to you? <laughs> it makes you go insane, I'm telling you. The way that people drive here, it's. Ooh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Here's the new mall going in in Mawson. Yeah. Pretty nifty. Check it out. It's been going up for the last. Oh. Pre-COVID, COVID shut it down, and then they started reconstructing it again, and yeah, now it's going up. We're hoping, and we think, it's got underground parking on each side, in and out, under where they built their little clothing house hut thingy up. Yeah, so we don't know. Here's Shell, 6482 a kilo, a liter. Uh, you math whizzes out there that can convert and see how much gas is. That's the diesel price for our truck. That's what we usually huh? get. It's usually between huh? that and 73. I've seen it up at 78 huh? sometimes, but yeah. But <laughs> see, there's one of those little eateries. It's all lit up in there and stuff. It looks really cool. There's another area over here. There's another area over here. They do in there. You know, it's, it's really cool out here and stuff. So I might show you that on the way back if we got it. But until we get to Ormo, because now we're at 14 freaking minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to cut some of this stuff out because it's probably going to be boring and stupid and you don't care. And I've just been talking to fill time and yeah, it's going to be a long video that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, <laughs> she started laughing and she turns her head. You're just so funny. I try. But anyways, all right. See you on the flip side in a second. Boom. Okay, here I forgot to mute the music, so I know it's going to give me a strike. So instead I'm going to do a voiceover. Um, haven't done this in a while, but anyways, we are getting ready to go through Visayas State University. What is it, Chris? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kristen's here next to me. Um, it's really pretty, and we're going to show it, and it's a really nice school. It's a school of like, what do they do there at that school? Oh, they teach school for college. But anyways, we'd have to look it up. I am in the middle of this, so I'm not going to. But here we're coming up on it. It's showing the mountain view for it. And then right here at this turn is when it starts to go into the really pretty road. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and you get to see it. The school's on the right and the left. And then the ocean's on the left behind the buildings. So it's a really cool area, a really neat place to go to school at, and it's a really pretty road that they keep up really nice right here. So we're just going to drive right through it, and 
Yeah, you can mute my voice if you don't like it. And picture music here going to Christmas music. Because <laughs> that's what was playing in the background. And I don't want it to get there. Yeah, that's the school right there on the right. And then there's more of it up here. All along this road from where I showed you is the whole school. And there you can see the water on the left. Cut the music. I forgot to cut the music. Yeah. That might be a problem. There's the whole university entrance. Yeah, it's so pretty. And then you got the store over here too. Philippines National Bank and all kinds of stuff over here. Well, yeah, look at the backdrop of their school. It's freaking gorgeous. The whole and mountains and all that and trees and a really cool roadway through here. 